I suck at art, but you suck at art too. So how about we all suck together? Hey yo, what the f PewDiePie needs to quit. So there's drama once again within the art community, and if you're a normal functioning member of society, you're probably completely unaware of what's going on. And that's where I come in, being the drama fiend that I am, I can give you that TLDR, and in the process, save some of your brain cells from the mental trauma that is induced simply by opening Twitter. <laughs> So as you guys can tell so far, the situation revolves around Kuleen. Now if you don't know who Kuleen is and you're on Art YouTube, honestly that might be for the best, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to have to introduce you to her. Now Kuleen is a pretty polarizing art YouTuber with at the time of recording around 2.4 million subscribers. Some of her most well known content fixing other people's art. Another thing to note is that with this specific series of video, the general consensus is that she almost completely changes the style of the original art, which a lot of people can understandably not completely get behind. Now, this alone does warrant some sort of critique because if you're getting your art critiqued, you kind of want to find out what you can do better and not just get told to completely redo the whole thing but in her style. Assuming people who watch her videos are submitting their own art for her to critique, I assume that they're well aware of how she does her videos and how she critiques the art in those videos. Now a criticism of this creator that I understand a bit more is the way she presents herself online. Her content revolves around her satirical personality and just saying things to intentionally bait people online. Colleen, of course, is no stranger to drama. Around six months or so ago, she got canceled for saying in an art tutorial that people with common black traits were gorilla looking. As you could probably assume, Twitter went crazy. She then, of course, apologized later for that statement. So now that you're sped up on who Colleen is, let's go back to present day. PewDiePie released a second video in his two-part series of him drawing every day for a hundred days. And his progress over those 100 days is the craziest skill improvement I think I've ever seen ever. Like, let's look at his day 10 versus his day 78. Over the course of this two months, this kind of improvement, I think, I want to say is unprecedented. Like, bro has a natural inclination on what looks good, and I don't like using the word talent, but I think we're watching this man develop his talent live. Now enters Kuleen. And this leads us up to the most recent drama. The original 30 plus post thread has now been taken down by the original poster. But of course, being the in-house expert on drama, I was able to sneak in a couple screenshots before it was deleted. A lot of these posts had millions of views, with some of these posts reaching upwards of 50,000 likes, with tons of people agreeing and even going as far as saying that they want to punch Kuleen because of this video. Now, without watching the rest of the video and just seeing that initial clip, I was about to join the bandwagon of haters. But being a responsible art drama reporter that I am, I decided to watch the full video itself. Surely with all these people dogpiling on this video, it has to be pretty bad, right? PewDiePie needs to quit art. Just a quick little recap here. Three months ago, he started learning how to draw for 30 days. It looked like dog crap. And now he posts a follow-up video. And this is what his art looks like now. At this point, he's gonna take my job. So just so we're clear, she wanted PewDiePie to quit art because he was getting too good, too fast, and might take her job. She said at first, his art looked bad, but now his new art is... If someone told me to quit art because I was improving too fast, how was that not a compliment? She then proceeds to say that she isn't a pro artist, so keep that in context when you watch her. 
Disclaimer though, I'm not a pro artist. I just scam people into thinking I am. I saw a lot of people saying that Colleen is not qualified to roast other people, and in that line, she literally agrees. Her content is purely satirical and for entertainment purposes, with a sprinkle of advice. The only actual roast she did in this entire video was here. Oh yeah, this one in the middle is Marzia. I drew it super quick. I asked her to post for me. Man, you did her dirty. But was then followed up 15 seconds later with this. Yellow, which I really love. Okay, why is PewDiePie better than me? I drew the entire video was basically her making self-depreciating jokes and reassuring PewDiePie through the phases that all of us artists went through. And I felt like a fraud, like, oh, did I just trick everyone? <laughs> First time. I mean, the fact that you think you suck makes you better than 90% of the population. Believe me, most people think their art is superior, but in reality, they're mid app like me. They used to feel like I drew something I liked again. <laughs> I mean, it'd be like that sometimes. It's a cycle of loving your art and then hating it, but that doesn't make him less impressive. I also copied a lot as a kid, and I was way worse than PewDiePie. I don't think anybody on Twitter actually watched the video and were all instead baited by the thumbnail. Let's be for real, guys. As artists, why are we blindly hating on other artists? I understand people's dislike for Colleen, but using this video as a vehicle to hate on her is a miss in my opinion. Now let's go over some of these cooked replies that were shared on Twitter. And just to preface, do not harass anybody in these replies. I think it is ironic, but regardless, nobody deserves to be harassed over a misunderstanding. Now let's get into this. This post in particular is crazy and I'm going to bring up a lot from this person's thread since it was the biggest one. It has since been deleted but nothing gets past me. Putting down an artist in any situation is just a low blow, especially dragging one of your friends into it. I don't think most people would want their art to be put against others and I can only speak for myself on this one but I would not want one of my friends saying I'm better than X person. This one is just self-explanatory, but for people on Twitter, maybe not. Please do not threaten other people's well-beings, even if you think it's a joke. And I think we're just going to call it a day here. I do have more screenshot that we can go over today, but honestly, it's just made by a lot of people that, you know, clearly just didn't watch the video. So, I mean, at this point, that's just a common theme. I think, you know, if anyone watched the video, you would be able to know. So I could understand how Cooling's content isn't for everyone, but I think if we're gonna raise the pitchforks for anything, this situation is definitely not the one. Moral of the story is, is don't listen to everything you see on the internet and I think that includes me too I guess do your research hey!